Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Book of Meme Coin using your Windows 10 or 11 base computer here in 2025 in less than 10 minutes. Now I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more and keep more of the book of meme coin that you are mining, allowing you to build your holdings faster and be more prepared for the 2025 bull run. So before we dive into the video, I do always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. Um, so of course, this is a point in time. So if you aren't interested in this, please feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, as you can see, our quick little gain from yesterday in crypto has been followed by an almost equally sized drop. Overall, the total crypto market cap is $2.8 trillion, which is down almost 10% in the last 24 hours. Bitcoin, pretty much the same as the overall market, down just about 8% to a total value of $85,000, almost $500. So definitely sucks to see coins dropping, but that means there is a better opportunity to get these coins at a lower price. The more of them you can get at a lower price, the better it will be when it does start to go back up. Um, so just scrolling down here again, we see just a very few coins here with some green over the seven days, XRP being one, Cardano being one, HBAR being one, um, but overall red, across the board. Now, of course, before we dive into today's tutorial, I do want to take a look at the coin we're talking about, which of course is Book of Meme. Currently priced at about 1.7 tenths of a penny. This coin is down as well about 17 and a half today. But if we look at the all-time high here just earlier, well, I guess it was uh, almost a year ago now on March 16th of 2024, coin was 2.1 cent. It's fluctuated but kind of down over time but if you believe in this coin and the Solana network now could be one of the times to be building your holdings of this coin. And what's a better way than mining? Now you may be saying how do you mine this coin? This is a traditionally mineable coin. Well, we are using a site here called Unminable. Now if you're not familiar with the site it does basically what the article says. It allows you to that aren't traditionally mineable. Now those coins might not be mineable because they're just simply not POW coins, or it could be coins like Bitcoin, Bitcoin, or Dogecoin, where they are mineable, but you have to have super powerful computers. You can't do it with a CPU or a GPU anymore, or at least be profitable doing it. This site allows you to do that, and the way they do that is by having you choose an algorithm uh, that is profitable for your hardware. If you don't know what that is, I'd recommend going out to whattomine.com. Enter in the hardware that you have in your computer and it'll tell you the best algorithm to use. What it does then is, let's just say for sake, I'm going to be using Kapow algorithm, which is actually mining Ravencoin. So my hardware, Kapow is profitable mining Ravencoin, so Unminable takes that Ravencoin and will convert it over into Book of Meme and pay me out. So it's a little bit of a workaround. You are still mining, but you're mining the coin directly. So what you're going to do, the link to Unminable is down in the description below, which if you use that link, you're actually going to save 25% on your pool mining fee, which we'll talk about in just a second, or navigate to Unminable.com. Then you're going to select Get Started with our setup. There's two options, Basic and Advanced. I always recommend Basic since that's good enough for 99% of people mining, but Advanced is there if you're interested. So go ahead and select basic, and then again, I'm going to be going the GPU route, but if you're following along on a Mac OS-based computer or you're looking to mine with your Windows-based CPU, click that CPU option. And if you're looking for a full-on Mac OS tutorial, I do have one on the channel for 2025. So go ahead and select whichever one you're looking to go with, and then you get your algorithm choice. Now again, Choose the algorithm that's most profitable for your hardware. Now, again, I'm going with Kapow. Check out what to mine, figure out what's best for you. And here's where you select the coin that you want to get paid out in. Of course, I'm going for Book of Meme, but feel free to choose whatever you'd like. The only difference is, is on the next screen, you'll want to make sure you enter in a compatible wallet address. 
and as I just mentioned here entering in your address now this is a pretty simple process but I do always like to really take a second and say please double and triple check this address don't rely on just this call out here if this address is wrong in any way this may still show back as a compatible address but if it is wrong you won't be able to get paid and really when you're mining here everything's gonna work just like you see in this video even if this address is wrong until you go to get paid and then you just simply won't so once you've confirmed that go ahead and select next now the final step before downloading everything and getting started is the referral code and as you can see if you use the link in the description my Bitcoin tips referral code here auto populates if you just went to the website on your own and still want to get that 25% discount the code is Bitcoin dash tips capital B capital T essentially here on unminable there's a 1% pool mining fee meaning that if you were to mine a hundred book of meme coins you will pay one of those coins to unminable doesn't matter if you do that in an hour or in a year doesn't matter if the coin is a tenth of a penny or ten cents you're always gonna pay that one coin by using this code you actually reduce that fee down to 0.75 percent meaning you get to keep an additional 0.25 of every coin that you would have otherwise paid to unminable at the 100 coin mark. So it does allow you to build your holdings just a little bit faster, allowing you to be more prepared for the bull run. So again, that code is Bitcoin-Tips, capital B, capital T, or feel free to continue without that code and pay the higher fee. Now the final step is downloading everything and getting started. I always personally recommend Gminer as it's the one that I've always really personally used on my Windows and regular Linux based GPU miners. It works really well, it supports both major GPU manufacturers, and really it's just the one that I always go to. Not to say that any of these other ones are bad, I've used just about any of them, um, so feel free to choose what you're most interested in, but I'm going to continue with Gminer. What you'll do is select download miner files. This will take you to the GitHub where you just have to select this Windows 64 zip file, download this and extract it. If you miss the extraction step, you will get an error right away when you start the miner, which we'll do in just a second. So if you're getting a symptom similar to that, make sure you didn't miss that extraction step. Then what you'll do is come back over to unminable and select download.bat file. As you can see, Google Chrome has called this out and said, hey, this file appears to be unsafe. We can't verify it. Are you sure you want to continue? You will have to say yes, download unverified file. If you're not okay doing that, simply just delete from history. Unfortunately, there is no workaround for this mining program. This is something you're gonna run into with mining across the board. It's not just an unminable thing. It's not just a G minor thing. It's gonna be across the board. So if you're not comfortable downloading these files, I would recommend checking out some of the other faucet videos I have here on my channel. Once you download that, all you have to do is drag and drop this into the folder with the files that you just extracted. So as you can see here, I have unminable, B-O-M-E, kapow, gminer.bat. And at this point, you are ready to get started mining. And to do that, all you have to do is double click this .bat file. Now you can see here, I did get another pop-up saying, hey, Windows has protected your PC. Again, you will have to say more info and then run anyway. Again, if you're not comfortable doing this, simply select don't run. Good news is you'll only get this pop-up the first time you run the file. But just like that, in about eight and a half minutes here, I've been running mining Book of Meme Coin on the Kapow algorithm with my RTX 3070 here in Windows 11. So including a little bit of coin market cap, in less than 10 minutes we were up and running you could do this in less than five minutes now just a few final notes about mining with unminable here as you can see in this cmd window you get some blue text green text yellow text nothing red anything in red text is an error if you are getting any errors feel free to leave a comment down below i'm always happy to help troubleshoot make sure you let me know what error you're getting and we can try and get you up and running now, if you start mining and don't see any stats on the website right away, that's completely normal. It does take a little bit of time to sync with the website. And on the other end, when you are ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find this CMD window and hit the red X. Once that's closed out, you are no longer mining. You may be thinking, why am I telling you how to close out a window? 
Well, the reason for that is with Unminable, I've actually seen this personally, and I've also seen some questions about it. When you stop mining, you will actually continue seeing stats and even payments into your on-site Unminable balance for up to 12 hours or longer after stopping the miner. So it's a little strange, and I've seen the question of, hey, you know, I stopped the miner, but I'm still getting paid. Is it mining in the background? The answer is no. As long as that is closed out, you are no longer mining. I can personally say I turned off a miner, unplugged it from the wall, shut the computer down, all of that, and the next morning I was still getting paid. So I wouldn't be too worried about it. You're still getting paid and you're not having to do any of the work, which is pretty cool. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and if you're still here watching this video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to Bitcoin Tips. It really does help us out and allow us to provide these videos here for free on YouTube for you. And if you're looking to support the channel a little further, we do also have the channel memberships and super thanks down below, which of course any support in that area is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.